Hi guys and video and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I want to talk about the newest, re latest released Apple Card. And uh, Apple just released their Apple Card publicly two days ago on August 20th. And they said they wanted to be the game changer for credit card. And uh, a lot of people, I think, a lot of people who really excited about the Apple Card will have already got it. But I think most people are really hesitating to decide whether they should get one or not get one. And uh, I have received an early invitation um, for Apple Card, and so that's why I got my card on the day it's public release. And uh, now the card is here, and I will show you. I have been using it for the last two days. And uh, yeah, I just want to share with you what I think about the Apple Card and whether how people react to an Apple Card and whether you should get one or not. So yeah. That the journey begins. So the story of why I got a Apple Card is I was shooting a series about uh, digital payment, mobile payment, uh, especially Apple Pay because I'm using iPhone. And uh, I see because the reason why I shot that series because because like uh, people are always talking about how digital payment is so convenient in China, in China mainland because they have uh, WeChat payment and also Alipay. But I think because I have been using Apple Pay every since like like if there is this place if there is uh, Apple Pay available in that place I will just use it. So I have been using Apple Pay as like anywhere that's possible. So I think it should not be that bad. So I decided to shoot a like a challenge video called the Wallet Challenge with it, where I just use my phone as my payment and I don't bring any wallet to see if I can live in one place and live the best of it so and so far i have shot two videos one is in the westfield shopping mall here in san diego and the other one was the shot in la like los angeles korean town where i grew up there for my high school so definitely check on that and the day after i shot those two videos like, and the day after i shot that video i have received the invitation email from apple that says i'm available i'm eligible to apply for apple card early so without a hesitance i said okay i'm shooting that series i love apple pay so why not i just because i have seen the car design and my my friend had an earlier invitation than i do so he has already received the car i love the presentation love the design and i said why not i just wanted to get one myself so the application process is really simple is that you go to your wallet app on your phone you click on the plus button there and there is apple car apple car option there and what it really takes is just your name your birth date and your social security number and that's it and sometimes but there are cases about my friends he mentioned that when he was applying they were asking him like uh, the like our official US ID only and because uh, he doesn't really have a driver license in US and the only thing he has uh, he has as an official ID is uh, like a, a passport from a foreign country so he does have like a, like a difficulty applying the for the car but like see most cases you just need your like social security number and the other stuff necessary and uh, I got my within a minute just by like entering the I think just a couple quotes, like, just entering like social security number, birthday and stuff. I got mine like pretty quick and the, uh, the credit limit is like really high. So uh, compared to my other like, I think it just compared to my credit card from other company, the credit limit is pretty high. And uh, also in the advertisement, it shows as high as like 10,000. I think that's for most of people, that's already enough. And for me, that's much more than I can afford to pay my payment but I don't have that high so yeah that's one convenient and uh, yeah so after your application is approved you can receive the Apple Car in digital form right away and uh, it's just a simple and a really clean demonstration of your total balance of your payments you can pay right away and you can decide how much you are paying and i will talk about that later and it will also show you okay when are you when when is your car a physical car gonna arrive and for me it took about like five days all that although like they pick they did choose like a UPS second air and you can actually follow the delivery on your phone but it does take like five days to uh, actually actually receive it so I'm pretty excited about this one and the presentation is on point so everyone I have to show this to they always, they always admire the Apple's regardless of the product itself but their presentation is always the best so I'm gonna open this for you guys to show you what it looks like in that low so this one is just clean it's just clean box or like form paper board 
And once you open it, there's a little sneak peek of the white thing. And then in there, there's an apple envelope. And you open it. And once you open it, it's just like, it's just gorgeous. And how it looks like. And one thing about Apple Car is it's really clean. It's just your name here and your the Apple logo and the chip. And on the back side, there's no card number on this. And there, there's no like other like expiration date and the stuff. And it's just like a little sack and the master card. So and I don't know if this is a I think this is a stripe because like yesterday when I used it in the restaurant, the waiter takes it and, and they did swipe it. So I think it, it is it is a swipe. So it is swipeable and it's also like there's a shape on this. So it's pretty simple, clean, and the presentation in this one is just clean. And also you can see that here it's just that you can by by activating it, you just like simply tap your phone here and you will just talk, like show you. Activate it right away so you don't have to call the number and enter all your information again, which is right on point. And I think, and you're probably wondering okay, if I'm making like online payment to go online shopping and they don't support any kinds of, they don't support Apple Pay yet, what can I do? I don't know my card number. I will tell you that your card number is actually on your phone. So you always have your phone with you, and you just for your stuff, you just click on more information. And for your card information, it will not, it will not display it right away. So don't worry if you lost your phone. You think all your credit card information will be leaked? It will ask you for biometric information, such as if you have a, like if you have a touching stuff, a touch ID, they will ask you for you that. And if you have like face ID, they will also ask you for for that to actually get access to car information so for me i have face id so i just unlock it they will take my face id then it will show you all my credit card information here and also you can also request a new card number here so this card here doesn't really expire so i don't think if it, if it got expired they will send you a new card but i think yeah if you lost your card they will definitely send you another one but if you expire i think they will just update the information here and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about the physical card itself. So I used the physical, so I used the physical card yesterday, at the restaurant and also at Home Depot. But Home Depot is like I took self checkout, so there is nothing really exciting about that. But I went to the restaurant and used it. It's just like the waiter took it and uh, he went back to cashier to just like kind of swipe it but when he first took the car he was kind of confused about okay why is there no car number is this swipeable why is this the like, car so it's like it lo really looks like a gift card from Apple it's like is it is it a gift card from iTunes or from Apple Store and then he swipe it it's the swipeable and that's it that's hilarious and also the sound of it because this one is if you if you if you have this in hand it's really it's really heavy and the sound of you like when you are just going to a restaurant you just you're just throwing your car at the payment tree you just you are gonna hear that sound that sound is just incredible <laughs> And uh, yeah, my friend did insist me to do it more than once. I think I done app draw, so I just keep dropping my Apple Card on the table for like two, more than ten times yesterday. <laughs> so a lot of other people was kind of thinking we are crazy, and then they look at it. It's kind of hilarious. So it's like a conversation starter. Just imagine you go to like go to for dinner or lunch with your friends, and you suddenly just throw it on the table and makes that just. So this just makes that like sound, the metallic sound, and it's just hilarious, it's just loud, and it's just calling for the world's attention that okay, I'm having this titanium card. But I think the other one I also have the other another like titanium card. I think that's about the same weight, which I do think that's kind of so I also have this like a uh, Chase card, an uh, Amazon Prime card from Chase, it's almost the same weight and this one is also metallic. So I think they are using their bones like a titanium and I just 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 hear that sound. So that's there. This is the regular credit card sound. This is the other sound. This is a titanium sound. So they're not the first one to use titanium, but it is like it looks much better than this one, right? And they're both heavy. I think it's about 15 grand. Someone told me that, but if you like, if anyone else know the exact number, please tell me. So this is definitely a lot of people getting this card because they think, okay, 
because it looks great, it looks gorgeous. And uh, the other card I have that's like, but the, uh, the other card I have is this memo card, which also looks gorgeous because it's just like, it's just like for memo and it's like the pink color and you have other colors to cho choose but I would say that the pink is the worst color of the, all five colors available I do recommend you to choose other like the black one the black one my friends have it, it's really cool the blue one is just a memo color and also a yellow one but like don't try the pink one because I don't really love this pink I thought it will be like the other pink that's like darker and more like more vivid but this one it's okay but I just I hope I get the other color. I mean, I was not that hesitant to get this card because this is only a debit card. It won't hurt you. It won't hurt your like a here like credit history that much because it's a debit card. But this one is a credit card, so it does a hard pull from a credit history. So if you have just applied applied for a credit card, or if you have like you just loaned a car or have student loans, it will harm your. Or are you about to get a, get a like loan card or do like any financing that's gonna using your like credit score? I do not recommend to apply for this right away because it does significantly significantly affect your credit score because it is a credit card. It does a hard pull when you apply for it. But like for me right now, I don't really think I'm gonna need a credit card in the near future. So I think why not? But I I am excited. So other things, so this thing, other than the the look, the like the beauty of the card, what's the, what are the real benefits of the card itself? So some of the benefits is they have like one, they also have the one percent, two percent, three percent stuff. So it's one percent on any purchase, two percent on Apple Pay, three percent on all the Apple purchase such as your Apple Store, Apple Music, and other kind of stuff. So anything that is from Apple, if you use your Apple Card, you will you will get three percent. And for me, I'm I'm using like I'm buying a lot of software from Apple, like especially like Final Cut Pro, that's like super expensive. And also, I'm also buying like other like I do have Apple Pay, uh, Apple Music subscription, so that's a lot another thing. So it's definitely good to have this. And when you buy, it, you don't need to enter other credit, like card information. You just use your Apple Card. It it will just store there because it's related to it's connected to your iCloud and your Apple account. So it's really convenient if you if you're using a lot of like Apple service. Uh, if you're not. And I think the two percent Apple Pay is significantly because in my coming up series about the no wallet challenge where I use mobile payment or specifically Apple Pay, it does show that we do have a wide range of choice to use Apple Pay in the US. Like gas, a lot of gas station, a lot of car washes, I sometimes even like a restaurant, like and also like maybe you pay for a parking fee so that's almost like you can have the choice of using Procaster receiving 2% cash everywhere and except that you could still have 1% of from all, all the other purchase. So the good thing about the cash reward that about Apple is that you receive your card, you receive your cash reward the next day. So it's not like some of the rewards that you receive up a year or up a month and by that time you already forgot to, you maybe have just forgot to redeem it. And for this one, it's just like, let's say I have spent like $30, $38 yesterday and I click on this, it will show that daily, my daily cash is on like 4 cents. So it's like, Point one, like, like it's like one percent, and you can just use it. You can just so you can then you can see in my Apple Cash, I do have like four four cents, so I can use it anywhere, right? That's probably any. I can also and also now they're they're supporting that you can use an iMessage to send Apple Cash to your friends. So if you are just splitting and they're with your friend about the meal and they're also using iPhone or i iMessage, so then you can just send them the money right away. And I believe maybe in the future they will also like do more like promotion of like discover that okay we are we are we are like we are in partnership with PayPal. So if you um, using your Apple Card at PayPal or if we are having like partnership with other like major companies such as like no Amazon such as like McDonald's and if you use the Apple Card at McDonald's you can get like five percent cash cash reward. I believe they're gonna do something like that in the future and in that way it, will, it does give you more like cash rewards in that way so I think cash rewards wise 
it's not that bad. It's not that useless because it's basically everywhere you can use Apple Pay, you can you can receive two percent, and that's probably I would say sixty percent of the place. And I believe in the future there will be more and more because the more and more like merchandisers they're trying to use the like the general like cashier systems supported like such as by Square and some of the Square system they do uh, they do like automatically recognize Apple and some of the register like cashier device does have the Apple Pay implemented by itself like, such as the ones in Fire 21 and else. So I think yeah, it's in the future, in the near ten year years, it will probably just be like two percent for every single purchase because you can use Apple Pay everywhere. And I think because of Apple Car and because they're built to promote Apple Car, there will be more and more choice of Apple Pay like in the future. So it will totally change the game in payment in America especially. So it's like you can just use so you maybe in the future it will be like in China in China that you can just you just need your phone to go out and you can make payment everywhere. So that's exciting news, right? So other than the cash rewards, there are other reasons of like why you should or should not get the card. So for me personally something that's really benefiting me is that this one doesn't have like you can spend this because it's a MasterCard, so you can spend it like you can use it internationally in another country. Uh, as a family that we live in different parts of the world, so I travel really I travel really often and use my car like in another like for in a foreign country really really often. I do think that it's really useful that this car doesn't have a like international transaction fee or or like foreign currency fee. So if you use that in another country, it doesn't charge you for like international transaction or it doesn't charge you for your exchanging currency so it, that's pretty convenient right you just use a car and uh, swipe it and it's just it's just simple as that so it's just there's no other fee you can just use that as using something in your country and sometimes in that way in the foreign country if they do as I pay, which a lot of country that's the case then you can also save money for that. And uh, before I have this card, my travel to other countries, I do have my Bank of America, uh, the travel rewards card. But for that one, it's kind of tricky about the rewards because they are using points, and the points is always confusing of how many points you get, how many points you got to redeem. So I will think this one is much easier. But like, I do love the Bank of America card. So I will probably having some follow-up comments on using this one internationally next time I travel outside the world to tell you about that experience but I'm definitely so into that kind of stuff kind of feature for this car so I'm excited for that because it does give me the credit limit that I can spend outside the world and uh, other than that, there is also security reason because you know when you go to restaurants, some the waitress will or waiter will always take your card away from you and go to cashier to swipe it and make payments. And sometimes in some like tricky in some like in some place, they do like secretly take up your credit card information on your like your car because they there are like the security code, the car number, your name, the expiration date, and then the, after you leave, they will use that information to make their online purchase. And you just maybe you just you just have the fraud purchase on your on your account, and it takes sometimes just take forever to say that okay, it's a fraud. But for this one, you don't have that you don't have that worry because it's a clean background, right? There's no credit card information on there. So if you hand the card to the waitress, they cannot, they don't know about your information. So there's nothing they can came up to. So it's it's much more safer. And the, up to the safety issue, usually I just carry one credit card with me. And there were a couple of times, there were a period of time that my credit card got like, come, like frequently declined if I use a physical card. And every time at the same place I use, and that time I use at the same place I use my physical card, it's got declined, and it's got declined several times. Then I re I just asked, them, are you accepting Apple Pay? They said yes, and they tried Apple Pay with the same card, it works. So 
that's the huge difference. Then I went to Apple store one day to buy AirPods, and I asked a guy at works at Apple. I asked like, why is that the case? So why? Because I got my my digital card got declined so many times, and my Apple Pay just worked. And they said because it's at the Apple Pay, they consider as like a more secure payment method because there is because they, they need your biometric information such as your face ID and your fingerprint, right? So they think okay, every time you make a purchase, we have to get your we will use that biometric information to make sure that it's you. So we are sure that it is you. So that's that's why it's getting approved more like like much easier than the physical car because the physical car you can just take it and nobody knows it's that you although right now they're still requiring like signature but like how many times does people really compare the signature? I have a couple cards that I've, um, I always forget to sign them and I think yeah right now people don't compare picture IDs that often as well so this is a totally game changer so it's like anyways does has more secure and more and then for us it's easier. So imagine you are going to shopping mall, you already have a handful of bags on your phone. So you have to put down all your bags and dig through your bar your bag and put it out and do the physical and then put it in your gigantic wallet and sneak it back in the bag again. Especially when you have a full bag. That's painful. And you I believe you always have your phone out so you can just use the Apple Pay. It will be fine. It will be totally game changer, and uh, yeah. And for Apple, for Apple Pay, you can also get cash from the ATM machine. I mean, at least like uh, Bank of America can do that. You can just add your credit card and not credit card. Don't take cash from credit card. Add your debit card from your app and just tap uh, and uh, to your Apple Pay and just use Apple Pay to get cash instantly from the ATM, the Bank of America ATM machine. So you just tap it on the ATM machine and you will recognize it as from your passcode and uh, then you can just choose quick cash. That's the option. So that's convenient when you forget your wallet at school or at work and you really want to get lunch and they don't accept Apple Pay. You can just can just go up to the ATM, get some cash and just twenty dollars for it, and you can buy your lunch. You don't have to starve, right? So that's also like some convenient stuff about Apple Pay and the fact that right now so many people, so many places are accepting Apple Pay. So it is a great, great stuff. So if everyone is using Apple Pay, I think the whole entire like the entire there will be like less like fake currency, like less people making it because nobody uses cash anymore. That's kind of the case in China because you nobody is using cash anymore, and uh, sometimes if you go to some small merchandisers, they don't even have change for you because they don't have cash. Or only sometimes. So it is like quick exciting that I got this card and I can't wait to explore it more. Because it does like it does feel like it's totally a game changer just by the look of it and uh, the way it's working, and uh, yeah and. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about Apple Power. Are you gonna get it or not? Or like, why are you still hesitating? So, just maybe tell me and uh, just comment down below. So I'm excited about how you guys think about the newest Apple Card, and uh, I'm really excited to be the first couple of first people to get it. And uh, yeah, I've been really exciting to use it. The last couple days and I'm really exciting to use it in the future in more locations and also I'm really excited about the new series coming up the no wallet challenge where I use mobile payments such as Apple Pay and Android Pay to different places to see if I can live there and get any service every service I need so if you want to see more content like this or if you really want to follow that challenge please subscribe to the channel and if you are having other thoughts and questions or like comments you want to share about me about the Apple Pay, about mobile payment, about the Apple Card, please feel free to leave a comment down below or just follow me on Instagram. I will just, I will always be happy to chat with people about like new technology and stuff and all the kind of stuff because yeah, that's it and um, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!